Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Rishabh Sa and you're watching ZPL tutorial. So in this today's tutorial, we are going to learn about something called as field print direction. Okay, it's a new uh, parameter, okay, uh, to, which we'll be learning today. Okay, before we start that, I would like to thank you for uh, helping my channel grow. Uh, we have around 522 members. So thank you for that. Okay. Let's get back to our uh, library site. Okay. Now let's learn about something field print direction. Okay. So right now, as you can see, we have this set of ZPL commands, which is helping us to print this race of sound on the right hand, you know, window. Okay. Now, what does this field print, print direction, you know, looks like the, the command. Okay. So as you know, everything starts with carrot. Okay. Then we have F, then we have P. The states, you know, field print. Okay. Then the other parameter for this is direction. In which direction you want to print. Okay. And the other input would be the spacing. Okay. Spacing. Okay. Spacing and spacing between what? Spacing between the characters. Okay. This. We have R, E, S, right? So this each letters are nothing but the character. So you want to using this parameter, uh, not parameter, using this particular tag, right? Of ZPL, you can basically tell the label, okay, in which direction you want to, you know, increase the spacing within the characters, or you want to decrease the spacing. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's get started with this. Okay. So now by default, okay, by default we have this carrot fp in our uh, uh, normal printing statement right but it does not so because uh, by default it is always in horizontal direction and uh, the spacing between the characters is zero okay let me prove that okay carrot fp okay then we specify the other parameter nothing but the direction so we'll say that in horizontal is the direction okay and then zero will give the we want any uh, like no spacing between the uh later i mean like no spacing in the sense the default one okay so right now if i hit redraw you will see no changes on this uh on reshops right this uh words you'll see no changes see no changes i hit re redraw no changes because by default right by default we have these parameters being uh you know already applied on our uh you know printing the data okay this field data okay now Let's increase this, okay? Just keep an eye on this letter, okay? And just see that whether uh, the spacing increases or not, okay? I'm just going to go with two, okay? And I hit redraw, okay? Before I hit redraw, I'm I'm asking you again to po focus on this reshapsa, okay? So I'm going to hit redraw. Three, two, one. Do you see? Did you see that, right? Let me go once again. This time I'll increase the number from two to five, okay? I'm going again, okay, three, just focus, okay, with the one, I'll hit the redraw button and you would see the spacing, okay, three, two, one, right, now we saw that it is pre pretty evident that there is definitely space coming between, right, so that is, uh, this is what we have in the horizontal direction, right, so for this we have total uh, three, uh, you know, uh, direction parameters, okay, so let me just uh, keep it for you. Over here, F, X is nothing but our comment section, right? Now, let me tell you, we already know about horizontal, right? Horizontal is nothing but your edge. Then we have something called as vertical. Okay, that would go for V. Okay, then we have something called as reverse. Okay. Let me remove that E, cap C. Yeah. Okay. Let's do with the uh, deals with the the second parameter called vertical. Okay. So as the name specifies, vertical. Okay. The spacing would be there, but in the vertical direction. Okay. Same thing. Okay. The R would still start from here, but rather than you know, uh, printing in this direction, this would go vertically down. So I hit redraw. See. Right. It's in the vertical direction. Okay. Now let's go back to horizontal direction. Okay, we are back again here. Okay, now let me uh, bring this back to 
you know default statement okay yeah we have we are exactly where we started okay you understood h it's nothing but uh, it's uh, it basically helps these uh, you know data to be printed with uh, you know customized spacing between the uh, characters okay with the help of h in the horizontal direction and then we have v for vertical right so for that we have uh, in the vertical direction now coming to the r that is for reverse as the name states it would just help us to print in the reverse direction with our customized spacing right so let me just go r over here and let me hit free draw okay i do it three two one right now it is everything has been printed in the reverse direction it still started here but everything you know just printed in the reverse way okay uh, as you can see we we lost couple of characters right so let's for that also we have a hack right i'm mean, not hack basically it accepts negative parameter as well right and negative parameter would go max till minus 10 okay so let's just go with minus 2 first okay let's see we can get that h okay we got that h right and you saw that it got squished right in between right now let's go with the max right with the minus 10 if i put minus 10 okay you would see that everything the r would still here but everything just gets you know squished inside okay now let me just hit redraw in three two one see how cool is that right i hope you learned something new today okay um and if you really like my video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video and share it. That's all. Thank you. This is Rishabh. I'm signing out.